Well, hello, good people. Today is cleanup day in the warehouse, and I want to discuss with you how to secure the client, how to increase your chances of being able to take that inquiry and make it into a deal. So let's get to it. First, you want to make sure that you respond to their email within 24 hours at most. Absolutely no response should be longer than 24 hours. So I've noticed that the quicker that I've responded, I notice that the clients will say, hey, thank you so much for reaching out to me so quickly. Thank you so much for your fast response. And I think that's because it's rare for us in the balloon industry to provide quick answers. So if you're the one that's out there providing good customer service and sending quick responses, they're gonna acknowledge that and that's gonna come into play when it comes to who they decide to do business with. Secondly, you wanna make sure that you show appreciation in your email. You wanna respond, thank you so much for reaching out to us. We would love to assist with your bots mitzvah. We would love to assist with your corporate event. Show appreciation, show that you're grateful for their business. Show that you wanna provide them good customer service. Customer service is so important in our industry. We know that we can get like stressed out with multiple clients and da 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 da, but you have to make sure that you're still providing good customer service because that's what business is all about. You wanna make sure that you acknowledge what they put in their inquiry. You wanna make sure that you acknowledge that they mentioned they would like a balloon garland over the dessert table. You want to make sure that you um, address the color scheme that they've already talked about. So start creating your proposal. Even if you have additional questions from their inquiry, make sure that you include everything that they've already mentioned in your starting proposal so that they know, okay, I don't have to repeat what I've already mentioned. He or she sees that I have already provided this information. Fourthly, you wanna make sure that you provide visuals in your proposal. So some people will actually, I don't even know what this is called, but they'll do like sketches and design balloon garlands and things of that nature. I don't even do that. What I do is I include examples of um, balloon decorations that I've already done, or if it's not my work, I'll include those visuals in my proposal. And I will say, hey, the style is gonna be similar to this here so that they can see the style of the balloon garland. I will include balloon colors so that they can see if they told me uh, shades of purple, um, I'm gonna include shades of purple to make sure that they like it and they can visually start to see what the balloon decoration is going to be like. Doing the um, sketches and all that, I've never done that. And it takes time to do that and people want answers fast. So I would skip that route and I would just provide visuals of decorations that have already been completed and show them the style. If it's not gonna be the same length, make sure that you note so that there's no confusion. Your balloon garland will be a little bit smaller, but I wanted to include a visual for you to see so that you can know what the style is gonna look like. Lastly, you wanna make sure in your email that you have verbiage with regards to how you do business so that there's no confusion. For example, I book and finalize my calendar with consideration of when payment is received from my client. So we might go back and forth for a very long time, um, but that doesn't mean that the client has secured the date. And I wanna make sure that they understand that because we're always getting inquiries. So I have verbiage that notes, please note that we secure our calendar once payment is made so that they are fully aware. And I include that we need payment at least 10 days prior to the event date. And then I also include that we don't provide refunds. We only provide credit for events that are canceled via email within seven days of the event date. And I provide a credit for up to one year. So I wanna make sure that the client is aware of that information from the get-go. And then I also make sure to tell them that once they're ready to move forward, please let me know. And I will send over an invoice via our credit card processor Square for payment. I wanna provide as much information as possible to the client. During this pandemic, I also make sure to note that I kindly ask that everybody wear mask within six feet of whoever's there to install, just to make sure that 
everybody's safe. So I put everything out on the table so that, that they're aware. I make sure to see it in a professional and friendly way so that I don't come off as though I'm ungrateful for their business. But you wanna make sure that you're providing great customer service, guys. Good customer service is gonna put you ahead of a lot of your competitors. And if you do the things that we discussed in this video, it's definitely going to increase your chances of being able to secure the deal. 70% of the inquiries that I receive, I'm able to secure the deal just doing these steps that we discuss. Guys, I have a couple of bonus tips that I wanna to talk to you guys about. So we need to start putting ourselves in the shoes of our customer or client, whoever is reaching out to us on the inquiry form. So let's think, if it's a corporate client, what are their needs gonna be? Their needs are gonna to be to make their boss happy. Their needs are gonna be that they need that thing set up before the event starts so that their boss isn't on their back asking where the balloon decorator is. So you wanna address those needs, even if they're not telling you like, hey, I need this, hey, I need that. We already know because we've already thought about what their needs are. You're gonna say, hey, we would love to deliver a unique and memorable decoration because that's what they, that's what their boss is gonna want. Hey, we will be on time, we will have that thing set up. Whatever it takes, we will get it done. So make sure that you're taking that pressure and the stress off them. So the last thing that they have to worry about is the balloon decorator. We got this covered, we got you covered. A lot of times, honestly, when the client is thanking me, thank you so much for this, Brittany. Thank you so much for that. Hey, 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 I'm here to make you look good. You can tell your boss that you did the whole thing by yourself. I'm just here to make you happy. They are your client. Let's think if it is a client that's reaching out and she is planning her daughter's bar mitzvah. What do you think? Who is her number one person that she wants to impress? Is it her daughter or is it the guest? Daughter, guest, daughter, guest. <laughs> she wants to impress the guest. Yeah, she does want to make her daughter happy, but that's not the number one person she wants to impress. It's those people that are walking in. The other moms that are walking in, she wants to show, hey, this is what I can do as a mom. So you want to make sure that you are putting yourself in the shoes of each client and addressing their needs so that they can feel more comfortable with doing business with you. Let's talk about the indecisive client. The client that's like, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I want to do shades of pink, blush, da 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 da. And then a day later, hey, Brittany, um, actually, what do you think? I think we should do white, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, Brittany, I think we should set it up here. What do you think? You think this is a good spot? <laughs> so in order to secure the indecisive client, you have to be confident in yourself. You have to project your suggestions confidently. It can't be, hey, yeah, it's whatever you want. No, it's gotta be like, uh, for your party, for the decorations you've already showed me, I would recommend bow, 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 bow. In terms of the pictures that you showed me of your house, I will put it right here. So when the guests walk in, that's the first thing they see. Or I will put it right here because that's gonna be the focal point for your event. So you wanna be confident. You want to start suggesting and projecting your professional advice. You also wanna make sure that you call them on the phone because that email thread, that's gonna get pretty lengthy. You wanna call them on the phone. You want them to hear your tone, that you're confident, that you feel like this will be best in this place so that their anxiety will come down and you're able to secure the deal. Hey guys, please subscribe to the channel. Please like, please comment. Today happens to be my birthday. A girl turns 33 today. Um, so for my birthday, that's all I want. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Now let's get back to the video. Go ahead. You can ask me, how do I do my invoicing? How do I close the deal? What's the process behind that? So what I do guys is I take the information from our email. All of the details with regards to the delivery date, the event time, the delivery window that they can expect us, the balloon decorations that they're getting, um, the length of the balloon garland. I put all of those details on the invoice, including my cancellation policy. And then I input their email, their contact information, and it sends directly to the client. The client is actually able to make the payment directly to the invoice, and then Square will automatically send them a receipt 
and I'll get notification that the invoice has been paid. From there, I put it on my Google Calendar and we're good to go. The event is finalized, the deal has been closed. To continue providing good customer service, after I receive that payment, I send an email to the client saying, hey, thank you so much, payment received. Please let me know if you need anything else in the meantime. That way, the client knows that you're not gonna leave them hanging now that you have their money. You wanna make sure that you're still decreasing their anxiety and that you're available if they need anything, guys. That's how you do it, good customer service. Now, I'm about to get going since it's my birthday. I got some things set up. But until next time, good people.